Well, imagine slowly going blind to the point that you can no longer see those closest to you, your family, your wife. It's exactly what happened to a Forest Lake man who hadn't seen his wife in 10 years until the Mayo Clinic stepped in. Here's CARE Levin's Lindsay Sievert. The Mayo brothers founded their clinic with far-sighted wisdom, a place where science and medicine would someday be seen as an art. Well, I've been, you know, considered legally blind all my life. Alan and Carmen Zared understand yes. because they've also learned vision takes much more than sight. I have a degenerative eye condition called retinitis pigmentosa. And at this point in my life, it's really generated where I just have minimal light perception. Retinitis pigmentosa, or RP, causes blindness when the part of the retina that turns light into vision deteriorates. No motion or anything like that. I obviously can't read. Now at 68, it's been too long without the sights Alan treasures most, his grandchildren and wife. Ten Over years, 10 years, ten, I guess. But, but when I kiss her, I still close my eyes. <laughs> Love has long been his guide, <laughs> but another promise lured Alan to Mayo Clinic. How are you today? I'm great. How about All right, you? you got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> After two decades of research. So you are the first human patient. Dr. Raymond Iese chose Alan as the first Minnesotan to debut this medical device. Yeah. And you'll see why. So that's the first time you've put your glasses on. The retired chemist. This is awesome. Star in the square in the circle. How many fingers up? <laughs> is suddenly a kid with a new toy. But Alan first must undergo surgery to make these glasses work. That's the camera right there. He now holds the future, a breakthrough that could bring his sight back. It's a bionic eye in every sense of the word. It's not a replacement for the eyeball, but it works by interacting with the eye. I'm ready. To understand how Alan will use a bionic eye. So we'll start with getting the lights down now. Pre-op tests give us a glimpse into his world. Critical. Even in darkness, Horizontal. Alan manages to spot a few glimmers of light. It's just the way he is. <laughs> we'll be there at 615. He's now more than ready for the surgery that will transform both doctor and patient. Okay. The next morning, Dr. Iezy carefully inserts 60 electrodes into Alan's retina. Got some good vessels in this area. His life's work in a tiny chip Dr. Iezy engineered the first concepts of a retinal prosthesis, now restoring the gap between the eye and the brain. The simulation only lasts about two to three seconds. Okay. Two weeks later. On pins and needles. <laughs> or on electrodes, I should say. <laughs> comes a moment Alan thought he'd never see again. I don't know if I'm really prepared. But <laughs> His children and grandchildren. Oh are already moved by possibility before the bionic eye is even turned on. There. It takes a moment yeah. for his miracle to come into focus. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's what he is seeing? The camera in Alan's glasses works with a wearable computer. <laughs> it sends information to those electrodes in his retina and then straight to the optic nerve. Artificial vision but a genuine gift. It's the flash. I've got to be able to interpret the changes in That's that exactly shape. That's exactly right. Okay, let's okay. do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I picked you up. Oh. You picked me up. God bless you. <laughs> it's crude, but it's significant. You know, it, it, it'll work. And perhaps most meaningful. It's a, something we remember for a long time. To his grandson, Caleb. I knew that I was a carrier, and we always knew if we had a son, he would have a 50-50 chance. And we had always hoped that he wouldn't be that 50. But Caleb now has greater hope for his inherited disease. He can succeed, and that, uh, you know, he's defined not by his limitations, but by his abilities that God has given him. So I hope he, he appreciates that. So for his grandson, Alan steps into the unseen. Oh, yes. <laughs> you just saw your first sunshine. <laughs> oh, okay. no, that was her. <laughs> That's true. Your reflection is there. So it's yeah. almost like we're looking into a mirror. Yeah, yeah. It's now clear. 
vision I know there's something in there is much more than modern technology it's very narrow that's right <laughs> wow through Alan's eyes it's best described mm. as state of the heart oh I can see with my eyes closed <laughs> in Rochester Lindsay Sievert care 11 news <laughs> what a delightful man. It's important to note Alan's vision is not perfect. He sees pixelated images in black and white, but it is perfect to him. Alan tells us he's looking forward to going to a movie, traveling, and of course, seeing the rest of his grandkids.